David Cameron is being urged to make a positive case for Europe if he wants to successfully renegotiate the UK's terms of membership with fellow EU leaders. Pascal Lamy, one of Europe's most senior politicians, told the BBC other leaders wanted to help Mr Cameron win a referendum but he had to help himself. The PM has pledged to renegotiate a better deal for the UK and hold an in-out referendum by the end of 2017. Meanwhile, the Labour Party has dropped its opposition to an in-out referendum. Acting leader Harriet Harman said her party had reflected on the conversations we had on doorsteps during the election campaign and changed its position. Mr. Lamy was Director General of the World Trade Organization for 13 years. In an interview to be broadcast on BBC Radio 4's The World This Weekend Later, Mr. Lamy, who now heads up the think tank Notre Europe, said he did not agree with the view that the Brits have always been a pain in the ass so they can leave and it would be fine. He said the Prime Minister started with some credit because of his election victory. David Cameron, won an election in a reasonably brilliant way as a politician, as a professional of politics he did a good job and these guys are in the same job and they recognize that, he said. There are issues of substance, but the psychology of that matters very much. He warned there would be some red lines, such as free movement of people but there was a margin of maneuver over this in exempting the UK from ever closer union. He suggested Mr Cameron's tone would be important. Most European leaders, including myself, feel David Cameron needs to be able to make a good case for Europe in the referendum. They need to help them but he himself must make a pro-EU case in the UK, which frankly hasn't been done for the last 15 years. There has to be some change to the UK narrative, which will probably be the price for a compromise.